All right, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create an auto clicker using Razer Synapse. First, you will need to get their mouse or any Razer mouse. You get the software by just download it, uh, downloading it online. And then you need to install the macro feature. So when you first get the, um, the yeah, when you first get the software, uh, this macro feature, like right here, it won't show because uh, you need to download it in modules first. So all you need to do is just click uh, modules and you'll see it right here. So I already have it installed, but you should just find it somewhere in their features, like maybe in this page or the module space. You just click install, and then you'll give, or and then you'll get this page right here. So once you're out of this, you won't have all of these like me, because I already have a bunch of macros. They're just pretty much random ones, like you can see here. Uh, you want to press the plus button though, and I will name this test auto. So now that I have my test auto, I want to press record up there. Give me a three second countdown. I'm going to click twice, left click. Or and, um, this is going to be a left click auto. If you want a right click auto, then you just press right click. And uh, I'll show you how to do like um, keyboard, keyboard key buttons as well. But that's for, that's for later. So now that I have this, uh, I want to set these to however fast I want it. It's not like other auto clickers, well, where it'll just ask you how much CPS you want it uh, you want it to do. It actually has delay on this one, so I'm gonna just do zero seconds. But you need to actually adjust this delay if you want like specific CPS, and you have to test it with the CPS tester. So, well, after you got the macro, it's like this. Uh, you want to HUD over to mouse right here. And you can see that it's like uh, it's like this. Um, my mouse has two razor uh, two um, razor keys or like the special keys on the side of the mouse. And what I recommend is you want to set these two to razor hypershift. So uh, starting off, your these two won't be programmed to razor hypershifts. So if you find your side keys, then you just click on them, and then uh, you want to it, normally it'll be on default. It'll be called like mouse button 5 or something. You want to click on it. You want to uh, locate to Razer Hypershift. And you want to press save. Then it'll look like mine's. So I made both of my uh, side keys here. Razer Hypershift. You don't have to. You can only set one. Or you can set one if you want to. You can set both. It's fine. But have one of these or both of them be Razer Hypershifts. And now you want to see it's in standard. But if you click it, it'll go in Hypershift mode. So what that is, is uh, your auto click, uh, your auto clicker mode, you can say that. So now, um, I like to program my, uh, my uh, scroll wheel click to be my auto. So what that means is right here, you see when I press my hypershift button down, so my side key and um, I sc do a scroll tick, uh, scroll click, it'll start auto clicking. So it's auto clicking right now, you see that? And if I press my hypershift button and my scroll kick again, it'll turn off. So that's how the hypershift thingy works. So yeah, that's actually a cool feature because it's like other auto clickers. If you set your mouse click to like um to your auto clicker and you accidentally click it, then it'll start autoing. But not for this. You have to press this first and then that. So what you want to do here now is um I would just recommend you do the scroll wheel click for now. But right here, you want to click on this and you want to head over to macro. So now you want to do assign macro. I'll scroll down and find my macro called test auto. And I want to go here and click toggle continuous playback on and off. So I want to just save that. And now you see it's programmed to this. So I'm going to pull up a CPS tester right now and show you. All right. So here I'm going to do my uh, razor hypershift. I'm going to click my razor hypershift button and I'm going to click my scroll wheel. So now you see that it's uh, clicking as fast as it can, and it's very, very laggy. And this is the reason why I don't recommend you make it zero seconds. So I want to head back over here. I want to go to my macro, and I want to slow it down a bit. So uh, instead of zero seconds, let's do 0 0.00, or let's do 0 0.3, or 0 0.03. And I'm going to set all of these to 0 0.03. And now instead of 0 seconds, they're all set to 0 0.03. Now if I do the test again, Razor Hypershift, scroll click. And you can see that it's at a much more stable 16, 15 CPS per second. So 
uh, you could tune this to however you want, but it's not like other software where it gives you uh, like how much CPS you wanted to do. You have to actually set the delay. So um, since I make Booga Booga content, if you want to uh, have a good um, overworld auto, you want to set uh, your delay to 0 0.019. So if I set mine to 0. Oh, 0 0.019, 0 0.019. 0.019 and 0.019 so now this is my auto clicker but once again um all pcs i think are different so yours may not be 0.019 you may need to tune it a bit to get exactly 25 cps so i'm gonna head over to my uh, cps test again i'm gonna test it and you can see it uh, i'm getting around 24 25 cps this is what you want for booga booga overworld exactly uh 24 cps this is good and this will allow you to tank one but obviously like i said before all uh computers are different because of like your specs or your pc specs or whatever like that but mine is 0 0.019 you could test it out and see if it works for you if it doesn't give you 25 cps then just adjust it higher or lower depending on what cps it gets you but this is how you get um an auto clicker now if you want keybinds it's basically exactly the same how I just showed you. So just make another macro here. And I'm going to do keybind test. And let's say I wanted to like uh, spam E. So I'm going to just press E a couple times like that. And then I can set the delay to whatever I want. But obviously I don't have to do that right now. You can set it to be really fast or really slow or time it just perfectly however you want. But now you want to head over, have a, uh, head over to keyboard. Um, so this is one problem. Some people have Razer mouses, but not keyboards. But this only works if you have a Razer keyboard. So if you do have a Razer keyboard, then that's good. What you want to do is just head to Hypershift and go to here. Now you can see macro E. I have, I already have an E macro, but um, you could just set, you know, to keyboard test and play multiple times like that so that's how you get it and uh your hyper shift button will still be on your mouse so you, if, if you program your keyboard you won't have uh, another hyper shift button your hyper shift button will always be uh will always be your side keys right here so once again how to turn on your auto clicker is you want to press your side key either one or whatever you set your hyper shift to you want to hold it down and then you want to press whatever you made your auto to so in, in my case my hyper shift buttons are these two on the side and my scroll click so i want to do my uh my hyper shift button click it down or hold it down and then scroll click and you can see that it starts to auto if i want to turn it off hyper shift button and scroll click and it turns it off so this is basically how you make a macro. It should be pretty simple. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I could probably help you through Discord or whatever. Add me at I'mHappyIO. Have a good